Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are making my world famous vegan curry lentils. Super quick, super delicious, and super cheap. So these are most of my ingredients. I will have the recipe listed down below as well as the link to where I get my recipe from. And we're gonna start off by putting a cup of lentils into about four cups of water, letting that cook down for 20 minutes on medium to high heat. Medium high should be good enough. I have about two tablespoons of sunflower oil and I'm gonna saute my onions. I have one cup of onions. I love me some onions. So I'm making the curry base basically right now. I'm adding all my spices, um, red curry paste. I'm adding my gram masala half a tablespoon of that some turmeric gotta have my turmeric as my in my curry you know lentils half a tablespoon of garlic and minced ginger and then we're gonna put some cayenne all up on that bad boy Ooh, nice and hot and we're gonna have about three tablespoons of tomato paste you can use sauce if you like but the paste gives a nice thick texture and I love it so I prefer to use that paste I'm gonna just mix it up cook it down you know get all the spices juices flowing I don't know what I'm talking about right now and I'm gonna go ahead and add my lentils once they are finished cooking I do put a little bit of water into the pot but not too too much I'm just mixing it up, getting all the lentils coated with the flavors of the seasoning. If you're a real West Indian, you always have coconut milk in the freezer, so that's why it's frozen right now. But this is about half a can of coconut milk. Just dumping that in there and I'm let it melt down in the pot while the lentils cook or while the lentils get their nice flavoring. They're cooked by now. So now you're gonna see me adding a cup of carrots. If I'm lazy, I buy them pre-shredded but you can cut them up if you'd like if you're not as lazy as me I'm gonna just you know mix everything together you can also add potatoes in here go really really well with it make it more soupy and hearty but I like to keep it light with just the beans and the carrots and my spices obviously more turmeric I put a lot of turmeric in this this is so good for you guys oh my gosh like I put as much as I can take and it really is a nice curry flavor that's the point we want some curry lentils and while this is simmering and getting all delicious and spicy I'm gonna go ahead and cook my grains this is a super grain mix with quinoa buckwheat and I think one other grain I don't remember what it was and this needs about 15 to 20 minutes to cook and I let my lentils also simmer for about the same amount of time on low, medium to low heat. I'm all finished. That's it. I put some avocado on top as a nice texture change and the nice cooling flavor. You don't have to do that, but if you like it, I always recommend adding some healthy fat to whatever meal that you're cooking. So avocado is my go-to for that, just for that alone. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You asked me for some vegan cooking food videos, so this is what I got for you guys. I love you all. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up for more vegan meals, and I will see you guys in the next one.